Hello everyone, welcome back to my show. I'm here to finish off some videos. The spirit of love is attacking me right now. So, after I do the other ones, I gotta do the other ones, then I'm gonna talk about finishing it off, okay? Um, I'm back, okay? Most high just wanted me to see something, you know? This is a DMS album. Just, just type in DMS songs about God, and, you know? So, this is titled... A psychology expert shares, shares seven toxic phases. Highly insecure people always lose and how to deal with them. As a leadership consultant who studies workplace psychology, I spent more than 30 years helping thousands of individuals navigate tough relationships. I found that one of the most difficult personality types to deal with are highly insecure people. These are the folks who find comfort in stable and predictable environments. They prefer security and despise changes, but change is a necessity for success. Unfortunately, I've seen many teams and organizations fail because of highly insecure people standing in the way. The first step to preventing, the, preventing things from getting worse is to know how to identify them. Okay, are you dealing with a highly insecure pe person? That's how you can tell. Here are seven things highly insecure people say when they sense that change is coming. One, I don't have time for this. My other priorities are more important. Loosely, it's not that they don't have enough time, it's that they don't know how to manage it effectively. And how I really have any deliberate or mindful strategies of how to prioritize their task. Two, I already tried this, or something similar, but didn't work. This claim is often a, often a complete lie. Insecure people don't cry new things. They mostly talk about crying new things at best. Three, this is just another way for management to quit jobs. Highly insecure people who don't believe they are validated and appreciated their work can become paranoid. They may suspect that someone, most often those in leadership, were out to get them. Four, this is a stupid idea. Everything is working fine as it is. When a highly insecure person has a strong and domestic reaction to a new initiative, it may be a sign that they realize they will have to put more effort into their work and they feel threatened by it. 5. This might work for others, but it's not for me. Insecure people are big on inflating how unique they are and how special the conditions surrounding their work are. 6. Can't we think of something else? I'm not feeling this. This is losing an attempt to stall and completely avoid any real change or improvement. The alternative, the alternative way the insecure person suggests it is usually more or less a continuation of the same behavior. 7. It's obvious that, what, that whoever come up with this idea is clueless about the complexity of my work. If a, person claims that they, if a person claims that what they do is too difficult and can't be comprehended by someone else, it only means that they actually don't fully understand what they do, or they may be avoiding being transparent because they have something to hide. Okay, how to handle a highly insecure person. The most important thing you can do is to develop a sense of compassion for your insecure colleagues. Having dark negative thoughts about them won't get you anywhere. Find a balance between being supportive and exercising tough love, maintaining a sense of positivity and composure, but don't show that you feel sorry for them. Insecure people often react without any deeper thinking or understanding what they're reacting to. If they only get a comfort, if they only get a comforting response from you, it could make them believe that they are right to be fearful or reactive and not able to integrate right. And don't make and don't accept excuses. It will only make it easier for them to stay stuck in their ways. Instead, follow this mantra. An excuse is a claim, and a claim needs to be proven to be proven. Ask questions to poke holes in their arguments, and get them to identify what is actually true in this moment. This method can help them see that their excuses may be standing in the way of what they can accomplish if they face their fears. Yeah, that's what I've been doing for the past couple of days. I did write that article. I am a psychologist. But... I, you know, for the past couple of days, you know, I've been saying to myself, you know, being patient, you know, waiting, and then, you know, I just deliver that shit to them, okay? Like, Southern Mystic said in one of her videos. Um, I forgot what it said. I forgot what the title was. It's that one, y'all. So, I was just, you know, I just, you know, I'm, you know, waiting, you know. So, just following them steps, though, for real, though. 
we'll see. I'm out. Peace.